What's up everybody? This is Quincy with Green Home Systems. Today, we're gonna walk you through how to do a solar site survey. Let's get going. First, take a photo of the front of the house. We need to verify with our satellite imagery to make sure that we're doing the design on the right roof. Why is a site survey important? Well, we look at three things. We look at the roof, structural, and electrical. We need all of these photos so that we can create an accurate plan set that doesn't get denied during the permit process. We want to make sure our engineers have as many details as possible. Hey puppy, we're trying to film here, bro. All right, it is important to do a 360 view of the home and take pictures of every side because we need to make sure we locate where the main service panel is and what areas are clear for installation of other equipment if necessary. For our next photo, make sure you're about eight to 15 feet back from the main service panel so we can see if there are any obstructions. You should measure the open spaces on either side of the main electrical panel. This is where inverters or control boxes will probably go, so having the space measured is good. The measurements will go on the diagram of the home that you make. It's time to open up the electrical panel. This is one of the most important parts of the site survey because this is how we determine how much solar we can put on the home or if we need to upgrade the main electrical panel. One of the biggest things we need is this picture right here. This gives us a bus bar rating. So make sure that it is a clear photo. If you have any doubt, just take more photos. Also, you take pictures right here of the breakers. Not all main service panels are gonna look this way, but this is the gist of what most of them will look like. Do not open the Electrical Powers Company side of the box. Another thing that's really important is to take the dead plate off. This will give us some insight as to what breakers are we using and also the wire size coming into the house. Take pictures. Right, now we're at the sub panel. We need the same pictures that you would take at the main service panel, any of the pictures on the inside or on the outside of the panel. Also, with the dead plate off, so we can see the wires and the breakers okay. So now we're in the attic. This is the part of the structural survey that we need for the structural engineers to make sure that the roof can handle the extra weight. We need to measure and take pictures of the trusses and rafters. Spacing should usually be about 24 inches to the center. We need that measurement as well and take the picture. You will need to measure the size of the rafters like two by four or two by six, etc. If you can't get into the attic, or it is really small, sometimes there is an overhang of the roof on the outside and you will see the rafters there. If there isn't an attic, but you can see the exposed beams inside the home, measure those as well. Now, let's get to the fun part. Deploy your drone near the house and take 360 pictures of the house, six to 10 photos will do. It's important to take detailed photos that will show us the roof condition and obstacles. If you see anything that might be relevant to the planning, like nearby trees or any shadow source, then take pictures of those. There you go, that's how to do a site survey. When in doubt, take more pictures. If you have any other questions, please let us know.